guys welcome back to my channel for those of you here i'm liliana and in today's video it's a beautiful buttercream foot line cake with a marble effect and fresh flowers if you guys want to see how i made this well keep on watching
So what I did is that I did my crumb coat first and then I did my second coat of buttercream and making sure everything is nice and crisp. And then for my fault line, what I did is I, did, I used acetate sheets. It comes in all sorts of height. Obviously, when you buy it, you want the highest possible, depending on the height that you needed. Some cakes obviously are gonna be lower and some cakes are gonna be higher. So if you're doing for a higher cake, you need um, the acetate sheet to be higher. And if you're not using the whole entire height, it's nice to put buttercream wherever you want it to be, not covering the whole entire thing. So I would suggest if you buy this product, make sure that you buy the, um, the highest one. And basically what you do is that you just put a little bit of buttercream here and there randomly onto your sheet. And by the way, you can also use parchment paper, but if you use acetate sheet, everything is like nicer. They call it also the color cake uh, because it's a color and you can use it for other pastries. And down the road, I will show you how to use it also um, using other pastries. But for this particular cake, very simple, just, you know, place a random uh, buttercream and random colors everywhere, blah, blah, blah. And then using a toothpick, I literally dipped, dipped my uh, toothpick into gel food coloring. And then I just create lines here and there in the, um, in the buttercream. And then I just smudge it and then kind of blend everything out, but not blending too much with my cake spatula, making sure that you know, uh, everything is nice and even. You can even turn it around because the acetate sheet is clear so you kind of can see what the look is going to be onto your cake. So once you like how it looks, you're just gonna place it uh, onto your cake and then you're going to freeze your cake for about five to 10 minutes, just so that the buttercream has set and then you can remove the acetate sheet. Don't place the buttercream, place it on your cake and then remove it, it's not going to work. It's just gonna be a hot mess. You're just gonna remove everything. So it's really important that you put it on your acetate sheet, place it on your cake, pop it in the freezer for like five, seven minutes, tops 10, bring it to uh, your counter and then remove it and then you have your beautiful design. You can even go ahead and then uh, paint the top of it into metallic paint, but I kind of like the, the cake was kind of busy already. So I just wanted to leave it like plain and simple. Now for the flowers, make sure that flowers that you're choosing are not poisonous and um, that most of them are um, like edible. So um, to do so, you just place a little bit of butter and then just place your flowers and arrange them how you would want onto your cake. I finished a look with French macaroons and meringue cookies. And I do have a video on how to go about with meringue cookies. So you can also have a look at that if ever it interests you. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that I put up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.